diligence. Show me a man who intends to be successful God's way, to be victorious God's way, and ignores the law of diligence. I show you one who is joking with his destiny. Diligence. Diligence. Proverbs 20 and verse 4. Let's hurry up. Proverbs 20 and verse 4. The sluggard, give us amplified. Is it possible? The sluggard will not plow. Okay, well, the same thing it says. The sluggard does not plow when winter sets in. Therefore, he begs in harvest and has nothing. NIV, I believe, will give a better expression. I just wanted another expression for the word sluggard. You see, all of them use sluggard. You see how serious it is. A sluggard is a lazy person. Lazy person. That's right. NLT. Thank God for these versions. Those too lazy to plow in the right season will have no food at the harvest period what don't you understand about this scripture it's as clear as it is let me read it one more time those too lazy to plow in the right season so seasons matter will have no food at the harvest are we together there are many believers who are lazy there are many believers spiritually lazy intellectually lazy and all forms of laziness they combine it in their lives and wonder why they are not going forward in the name of Jesus tonight I come by the power of the Holy Spirit I cast out of your life every spirit of laziness I cast out of your life every spirit of laziness as a man of God, when you are lazy, be sure that, be ready for empty pews. God will honor you to the degree, not just of his mercy and faithfulness, but the degree of your own diligence too. Your own diligence too. Your own diligence too. Apostle, I want to be very wealthy. You think wealthy people just cross their legs and sleep? Run away from that lie you see on the internet. They are diligent people who work day and night. Day and night day and night as others are snoring they are awake even the keeper of Israel does not sleep or slumber no wonder he's the king of kings Satan who goes about like a roaring lion huh? you, you see both Satan and, and, and Jesus they all agree that laziness is not good so which side are you if you are lazy because whether it's Satan you want to serve or Jesus you want to serve none of them will accept laziness I want to join your cult. You will still need hard work. I want to be part of Jesus' camp. I will, you will still... Laziness is one thing that both God and Satan agree on. That you will be a defeated person with it. Laziness. The time to wake up and read, you wake up and read. The time to wake up and pray, you wake up and pray. The time to put your life in order, you put your life in order. Laziness. Are we together? One enemy of laziness or one enhancer to laziness is called procrastination. One day I will do it. One day it go better. Don't worry. Uh, I, I'm, I'm planning about it. One day, one day. May that day be today for someone. One day I'll be serious with God. Let that day be today. One day I'll be serious with my destiny. Let that day be today. In the name of Jesus Christ. You can make that one day your today where you insist that from this day things must change in my life from this day wrong relationships be on your way from this day prayerlessness be on your way from this day laxity spiritually be on your way